Welcome to Leading Edge 120 with Maureen Metcalf and Greg Moran. Greg, this week, Morocco experienced a significant earthquake. Can you tell our listeners a little bit about what happened? Yeah, so, you know, Morocco is an interesting country. Obviously, a beautiful country, uh, an increasing target for tourist trips, uh, etc. Unfortunately, their infrastructure is not in great shape. And, you know, Morocco as a country is what's called a constitutional monarchy. I hate to say it, but that's kind of code for an autocracy. And what it means is you've got a lot of control in the hands of one individual, in this case, uh, King Mohammed. And uh, there's, you know, clearly some evidence that some of the progress you'd expect in a country that has the resources of Morocco just haven't happened over the last couple of decades. So for our listeners who are organizational leaders, why do they care? Yeah, so it really struck me as I was sort of contemplating this situation that, you know, autocracies or autocratic leadership styles, while it's not impossible for them to lead to great innovation and social progress, it's really rare that they do. And so, you know, I walked away sort of thinking that it's a good reminder for all of us, particularly those of us leading large organizations, that if you seek innovation, if you seek equity and progress on equity inside your organization, an autocratic leadership style is the least likely to produce those outcomes. And you may want to think that through as you sort of contemplate your leadership approach in a large organization. So what's most likely to produce especially adaptive, agile results? I do not have the time to answer that question in a 120-second thing. <laughs> Maybe we just stick with agile and adaptive. Thank you to Greg for not answering the question and to our listeners for joining us. <laughs>